Have you ever wondered what makes a country tick and what could make it fall apart? Well, buckle up because we're diving into the fascinating yet sobering world of countries on the brink of collapse. From the bustling streets of Port-au-Prince in Haiti, where gang violence has turned daily life into a struggle for survival, to the fractured lands of Somalia, where governance is more of a concept than a reality, the phenomenon of collapsing nations spans continents and cultures. These are places where political instability, economic woes, and social unrest create a perfect storm, threatening to dismantle the very fabric of society. Now, let's zero in on our list of 10 countries that could collapse in 2024. These nations have made our list due to a mix of alarming factors, rampant violence, economic instability, and political turmoil. Number 10. Venezuela Venezuela has been mired in an economic crisis for several years, with hyperinflation spiraling out of control since 2016. By 2024, the inflation rate is projected to hover around a staggering 200%, reflecting the severe devaluation of the Bolivar. This crisis is largely due to the government's policy of printing more money to finance its deficits instead of addressing fundamental economic issues. As a result, prices have skyrocketed, and purchasing power has diminished significantly. The economy has also suffered from widespread corruption, mismanagement, and a heavy reliance on oil exports. These factors have contributed to a dire humanitarian situation, with shortages of basic necessities and a collapsing healthcare system. Millions of Venezuelans face extreme hardship. Number 9. Tunisia Tunisia is grappling with severe economic strain. Marked by a budget deficit nearing 10% and a significant public sector wage bill, the financial pressure intensified with the fallout from the COVID-19 pandemic and the ripple effects of the Ukraine conflict, which disrupted global supply chains and heightened import costs. The risk of social unrest is high, and the economic challenges are compounded by persistent shortages of essential goods like food and medicine, exacerbated by severe water droughts that have further strained the country's resources. The combination of these factors has created a precarious economic situation with many Tunisians facing unemployment and declining living standards. The government's efforts to implement necessary reforms have been met with strong opposition, making it challenging to achieve sustainable economic growth. Number 8. Argentina Argentina is entangled in a profound debt crisis, with national debt reaching a record high of $377 billion by the end of 2023. This represents an eight-fold increase from the country's debt level in 2018, indicating a dramatic escalation in financial obligations. The burden of debt servicing is enormous, consuming a large portion of government revenue and constraining fiscal flexibility. The country's repeated defaults on debt payments have eroded investor confidence, and 2024 is expected to be particularly challenging due to the heavy debt servicing requirements. The economic situation is further aggravated by high inflation rates and a persistent fiscal deficit, making Argentina's financial stability highly precarious. Number 7. Ghana Ghana is experiencing a severe economic crisis marked by a dramatic depreciation of its currency, the CD, which fell by over 50% against major currencies between January and October 2022. This trend has continued into 2024, with the CD losing nearly 10% of its value in the first four months of the year. High inflation, which surged to 30% in 2022 and remains at 23% early in 2024, has further exacerbated the economic strain. Ghana's debt stands at $54 billion, or 75% of its GDP, reflecting the country's heavy reliance on foreign financing. This situation has led to widespread social unrest, with protests demanding economic relief and highlighting the urgent need for effective economic reforms to stabilize the situation. Number 6. Sri Lanka Sri Lanka is grappling with a severe economic crisis, primarily due to years of financial mismanagement and the depletion of its foreign exchange reserves. By September 2023, the country's government debt had escalated to 14.4% of its nominal GDP. This has led to rampant inflation, significant currency devaluation, and acute shortages of essential goods such as fuel, food, and medicine. 
The political instability further aggravates the situation, with widespread social unrest making it difficult for the government to implement effective recovery measures. The nation finds itself in a prolonged period of economic hardship, with no clear resolution in sight. Number 5. Pakistan Pakistan is currently facing a critical economic situation marked by dangerously low foreign exchange reserves, which are barely sufficient to cover five weeks of imports as of September 2023. The Pakistani rupee has plummeted to historic lows against major currencies, fueling inflation and economic instability. The country's foreign debt stands at a staggering $125 billion, with debt servicing costs consuming about 40% of government revenue. The upcoming election year, coupled with political instability and natural disasters like floods, complicates efforts to implement necessary economic reforms. Pakistan's heavy reliance on foreign aid underscores the urgent need for effective policy measures. Number 4. Belarus Belarus is experiencing significant economic strain due to international sanctions imposed by the European Union and the United States in response to its support for Russia's invasion of Ukraine. These sanctions have severely restricted Belarus's ability to engage in international transactions and access foreign capital. The country's disconnection from the SWIFT financial network has further isolated it from global financial systems. Import bans on key sectors have disrupted trade, exacerbating economic difficulties. The economic outlook for Belarus remains grim, with the possibility of further sanctions and continued isolation from the global financial system posing ongoing challenges. Number 3. Kenya Kenya is grappling with a mounting public debt crisis, with the debt-to-GDP ratio hitting 70.8% by June 2023. This significant debt burden means that around 60% of government revenue is now dedicated to servicing this debt, leaving limited funds for crucial development projects such as education, health care, and social programs. The country is also facing a severe food crisis exacerbated by drought, inflation, climate-related disasters, and internal conflicts. These challenges have led to widespread livestock deaths, failed harvests, and increasing malnutrition rates. Despite ambitious goals outlined in Vision 2030, tangible improvements in living standards remain elusive, and Kenya continues to face pressing economic and social issues. Number 2. Ethiopia Ethiopia is deeply mired in civil conflict, which has resulted in widespread destruction, loss of life, and massive population displacement. The conflict has severely exacerbated humanitarian crises, including acute food shortages. As of 2023, Ethiopia's external public debt stands at $15 billion. The government is seeking relief through the G20's Common Framework Program, which aims to provide debt restructuring and support economic recovery. However, ongoing violence and instability have significantly hindered efforts to address economic challenges and implement effective recovery strategies prolonging the country's struggle. The conflict in Ethiopia's Tigray region, which officially ended in November 2022, has left the nation in ruins. The war killed approximately 600,000 people and displaced millions. Number 1. Ecuador Ecuador is facing substantial internal instability marked by protests and attempted presidential overthrows. The situation is further complicated by competition for control over drug trafficking routes leading to increased gang violence and crime. Ongoing protests have caused shortages of essential goods such as food and medicine. In response, the Ecuadorian government has implemented measures like fuel price cuts, debt forgiveness, and subsidies. However, high debt levels and a growing fiscal deficit continue to strain financial stability. Ecuador's heavy reliance on oil revenue underscores the need for economic diversification to achieve long-term stability. In recent years, Ecuador's homicide rate has surged dramatically, making it one of the most violent countries in Latin America. And there you have it, folks. A whirlwind tour through the precarious situations facing these 10 countries in 2024. If you enjoyed this video, let us know in the comment section down below and turn on your notifications to know when next we upload. See you in our next video. Bye.